I'm Alex Arena, and today I'm going to show you how to merge two or more videos using QuickTime Player 10. To accomplish this, you're obviously going to need some videos to merge. These videos can be in any format supported by QuickTime, so that translates to many popular formats including MOV, MP4, M4V, and AVCHD. If your videos aren't in one of those supported formats, the free and open source Handbrake utility will help you convert them. I've included a link in the description of this video to Handbrake for those of you who don't already have it installed. But in the interest of time, I've actually already taken the liberty of converting these three videos to a QuickTime compatible format. So, with your freshly converted videos in hand, let's fire up QuickTime Player and get started. I'll choose any one of these video files and drag it down into the QuickTime icon in the dock. As you can see, the video is opened up, no problem. But here's where things get cool. If I drag another video onto this one, QuickTime's editing interface pops up and we can drop the video on so it plays directly after the one we added first. Now I can do the same with this final video and as you can see, QuickTime is handling it beautifully. Using this play button, I can play back my newly merged video to see if I'm happy with the results. Unfortunately, it looks like I've imported them in the wrong order. Luckily, QuickTime will let me drag the videos to rearrange them, like so, to make sure I get them in the right order. Now that that's taken care of, I'll press Done to finalize our edits. Finally, it's time to export. I'll do this by going to File, choosing Export, and then the resolution I'd like. In this case, that's going to be 1080p. I'll choose a file name, and then Save. Since my new video is actually only 12 seconds long, it only took a few seconds to process, but if you've got a longer set of videos or an older Mac, this process might take a while. But more or less, that's it. Back on my desktop, you can see the final video file has appeared with the contents of these three individual videos. It's worth noting that what I showed you is about the extent of this feature. For more powerful edits, like adding transitions or other effects, you'll need to head into iMovie or Final Cut. But for basic merges, this does the trick nicely. I'm Alex Arena. Enjoy.